that man, that man bought six dogs in the semi-finals of the English Derby at White City, and none of them won the final. He bought. Yeah. yeah he, he, was, he was trying to buy the Derby winner, oh, he and when he, when he had the Derby, derby winner, his his boy, he, his boy had it in uh, Ireland. He died, and his boy sold the dog. And he had a dog then in Ireland, and uh, I had dogs for him. Um, Eddie Costello. Eddie Costello. Costello. He's done all the roads. Yeah, he had the dog. He had the dog. Uh, Millions of pounds. Oh, yeah. oh, what was the name of it, John? Tat, Dan Tally Taddy. Or oh, Jeremy Kenner had the dog. And Grace, Lord rest her, she was, she was in a coma, and she woke up out of a coma on a Friday night, and she said to Eddie, the dogs won the derby. He said, No, Grace, that's tomorrow, and she went back. That's right. That that's was her right. luck. She died, yeah. yeah. Lawrence Blunt, he's... And he sold it, didn't he, the same? Wasn't him. Lawrence, Lawrence, yeah. Lawrence was in uh, Out Abroad doing his jewellery run when he came back and he had a... He was going to Shelburne on a Saturday night for the Derby when he had to get off at Heathrow because it wasn't a true yeah. road. Mm. And he made a phone call when he got to Heathrow and he found out Grace was passed away. So there was no one went to White, no one to Shelburne the night the dog won the derby. Is Lawrence there was still in the game, John? Yeah, no. There was none of them there. <coughs> there was none of them. But the dog then, the speedy dog came to me from Francie Murray. I had him for a while, I had a couple of runs with him, and Eddie asked me one day would I send him back to Ireland to Francie Murray for the Junior Cup at Dundalk. He went back there, he came back to me, and Lawrence didn't want to fetch him to me. I was at Wembley that night when he rang me. He picked him up at the airport. He said, the dog's in such a state. I think you'll go off the head when you see him. I said, fetch the dog. He took him to me at Wembley. He was in a terrible state. I the dog right. I run the dog in the Irish Derby. He was third in the final, got beat a neck and a, and a head. Short head and a neck. Jeremy Kenner's dog done him. Dark Prindle dog, I can't think of the name of it. Smacked him to bits at the first bend, otherwise he'd have won it. But... He never ever got trapped one. Bob Rowe cost me the English Derby with him, drawing him wide. I said, the dog's not a wide seed, he's a bang railer. One of the best dogs in the country running a bend. But Bob Rowe wouldn't have it. Tra five or six all the way through the Derby here at Wimbledon. The first time he ever got trapped one was at Wimble Wembley in the select stage. And I had a winner for Eddie this, just before that, the Brindle dog. He was the youngest state winner ever in Ireland. He won the, uh, the Eclipse for me at Nottingham. And I said to Eddie on the rostrum, you'll be back with a new track record holder later on. And he started laughing at me. He blew the limbs and he won it. It was a proper greyhound. But never got the draw. Trap wandering was worth five yards to him. We, we, we um, read out of that and all. Yes, speedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 he was a machine of a little dog he was. John, who was the best dog you trained? It's, it's hard to say. Different areas, isn't it? Yeah. You think it did? Well, he was a fast guy, and like he was. When he came to me, f Mick Silver had him. He had uh, a trial at Oxford, didn't do great in time. He had a trial at Canterbury, didn't do great in time. And he had a trial at Reading, he didn't do great in time. Oh. And I couldn't phantom out what was wrong with the dog. I thought, like, he's got to be better than that. His form in Ireland was not known, he's tried, it's like. And I used to let him off out there on the track at Ockenden. And I used to said yeah, and I way. used to watch him. Yeah. And I used to see him give a nod little gimp, you know. And I thought there's something wrong. And I could turn him inside out, I couldn't find nothing. I gave him another trial at Canterbury and he he graded. So I went to Bruce Pro and I said, Bruce, can you check this dog out? There's something adrift and I can't put my hand on it. He said, what do you think it is? I said, as far as I can make out, there's something in the off hind. I haven't got an x-ray vision, and I don't know. I can't feel this, and I can't feel that. And he went over him, turned him inside out and upside down, walk him up, walk him back. He said, no, he's perfect. I said, can you x-ray him? And he found a problem. He said, you won't cure that. I said, I'll cure it, but I'll give him the right treatment. He did it. He had him after me. Mm. Same thing went again. Yeah. Same thing I said, and he's had it for a long, long time. On a crack on the, the fib fibula. Fib fibula. Oh, crack yeah. on the and it was old, crack. like, and the way it was gone, yeah. twisted, yeah. like, you know. Yeah. So I used to swim him a lot. Yeah. And uh, 
I took him back to Canterbury. I had two dogs in a race, a two to five shot in trap six and hit the lid in trap five. The boys, of course, one of the lads that worked for me used to talk a lot to people, like mark the cards. And I told him on the way down there, this fawn dog will win out of the park. It was hit the lid I wanted. Yeah, I hit the lid, yeah. he hit it that night and done the clock yeah. in his first race. <coughs> Come home from there, his next race was in an open in Bristol. He beat a Tony Meeks dog out of sight, double figures on the distance. I said to Smith the next day, if this dog don't win the derby, I'll hang up the leads. He said, yeah, that, 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 that. Yeah. I said, this, remember what I told you, Sean? Yeah, yeah, I, I said, this is well in the school, like. Looking after this fellow now, if I nurse him properly, and I'll never forget it, the day, two days, three days before the final of the derby, I had two dogs in the final of the derby. I had the licence six months, whatever, whatever, and I told what's the name I'd win the derby that year, Underhill at the club, when he gave me the licence. I had two dogs and I was, I said to Junior, I had to go somewhere. I jumped in the car and I went, I said, do me a favour, swim them two dogs. Top that pool up first, because remember the pool, it used to yeah, weep a little bit, yeah, yeah. used to keep it topped up. I said, top that up before you swim them, swim the two dogs that's in the derby. This was on a Thursday, I think, or a Wednesday. When I came back, that's before I had the shed over the pool. When I pulled up the car, he's swimming them. When I've looked, the water's the colour of his jumper. I got out and grabbed the dog out of the... He ain't got a nail on his back feet. Okay. Hit the lid. That's as true as I sit here. Well, you'd have heard me here. You were mad, didn't you? Went mad. I said, how on earth am I going to get that past the vet? Yeah. He's in the final of the derby in two days. No, he's got no nails left on his back feet. With tearing on the bottom of the pool. He didn't top it up. So I asked him and I said to him, now you always pray the dog, you always handle the dog. I'll take the dog in, weigh him in, kennel him up, I'll get the dog out, weigh him, coat him up and everything afterwards. Because the dog always had a habit with Junior, jumping up onto him with the two paws on it, licking his face and that. He idolised him, the dog. But I said, I'll handle the dog till he's ready to go out on parade and then we'll swap over. Because the vet sees that, if he jumps from makes a twist, all the toes is going to bleed like anything, you know what I mean? I've got them all covered with stuff to stop him. And the rest is history. The buzz that night, Wimbledon Stadium, you wouldn't have got a fag packet into it. All the way around. Packed to the rafters. Even when you're putting the dog in the boxes, the crowd like, you know what I mean? And the noise is something else. And then when you go to the traps, it's like, Dropping the nail and yeah, it yeah, goes yeah. deadly quiet. As I say, like, yeah. you know, yeah. the yeah. there's, only, yeah. there's only one or two, I think, competitions in this country yeah, that I haven't won. Yeah. But uh, mm. I've held my own in Ireland. I've won three Oaks. I've won three Newbridge Oaks. Out of the last four years, I've won three of them. I've won two Lifford Oaks. i won the Waterford Oaks. i won the Yarl Oaks. Uh, i won two Guinness. What's the name? Said Cork. That's the biggest trophy in Ireland. Yeah, yeah. It's like the. What's the name here? Um, I've been unlucky in the Derby there, led to near the line. But if I had had the dog a year beforehand, yeah. when I brought him here, then he only he didn't get beat a lot in the final of the English Derby. He was what four and a half year old, five year old. Yeah. You know. Would you come back over in there, John? To one, well, one in the Derby. I don't know, I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens with my friend at Oxford. Gary, if you buy him, why don't you come back? He's open, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can open Oxford. Right, do you want to join in there? Right, John. They won't have me. They won't have, have me. They won't ask me, John. Go on, ask me, Maurice. What, go I'm going to ask you, what was the best dog you ever trained? The, the best dog or the fastest dog? No, the best dog. They will got me the most money. Yeah. I'm interested in money. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, no, up. listen. Yes, I, know, I, know I, I, I look. Yeah, I, I Gary, love the dogs. I know the story, so I know what he's going to say. Go I love the dogs, and I love them all when they're there. They love them. They get fed. The family, the kids, and they're looked after. When they're gone from me to somebody else, it's, they're gone. But at the end of the day, they've got to get me money. They they have to earn money. We're a racing game. We're in a gambling system. This is what I can't understand with a lot of the 
all the GB, GB, and it's, we're all in it to earn money. The bookmakers are there to take our money. We've got to have it. And, and that's what we're in. We're gambling people. The best dog I ever trained, got me money, was Damien Slave. Yes. Because I, I took him, the, the, when I first got him off of Ernie Wiley, he was running three bends and getting his collar felt. You know what I mean? On the, on, he, was, he wanted the oxygen bottle coming home. Well, Morris, I, I, was doing, I was doing a dog and under Margie Coleman at the time. God rest her soul, God mother and my children. And uh, I said to Morris, look, enter this dog at Milton Keynes through, just enter, you know him anyway. He enters him, the dog, and he gets drawn trap six. Well, the dog was a bucking bang railer, you know. A bang railer, anyway. So all of a sudden, this was on a, on a Saturday night or something, bang, home he goes in the open, 10 spots off the clock. Out of six. So fuck me. Anyway, so I'd had him entered at Wembley on the Wednesday for the sprint on a different ear. The Rattler, the McGee. Gone home half a length off the clock at Wembley. Then I had him at Slayer on an inside ear. Then four days later, this dog, bang, he fucking beat uh, Charlie Cole, Shamwar, and Westmead account. Six yards. I don't know, two spots off the Yankee Express's clock. And he's, I mean, F to do that in free runs, different air, different air. When when everyone's saying on this television program, oh, we have to have a trial round here and a trial round here. Some of these dogs don't want a trial. They can, they are naturals. They, you know, they'll find a bit of time. They'll find a little bit, but some of them will run a track. As long as you place them, the art of this game is placing. Some of these people who don't, they are not placing. The, they're placing long striding dogs at. Crayford and yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? So we had this dog and he was the best money spinner for me, Morris. Um, yeah, I used to come home. Was he any good at burying me? Oh, I don't know whether no, that no, was no, the same didn't dog. Have him. I didn't know. He didn't I, have him. No, I didn't know. I didn't know whether he went to bury or I was I'll tell you a story. Dog. No, I'll tell you that story. It was another, that was another he got broke up with Mickey. That was his brother. He? Uh, he got injured with you. And uh, he was yeah. retired. No, I don't I went to I never went to I can't chew too much, but I'm going to show you photos of Barry coming out. No, of them. no, no. But what I said with the dog. Oh, he got he got injured. And he no got, one, they all said he'd never run again. He did run again, and yeah, he went to I Bristol. Said, no, he, uh, everyone said he'd never run again. All uh, the vets, including Bruce Powell and everything. Uh, Potter took him to me uh, one day. He said, "Do me a favour." He said, his hands all bandaged. Said, well, Potter. I lost my licence, didn't yeah. I? I Potter lost my licence. Potter had all his hands bandaged up. Yeah. He said, yeah. "Can you look after this dog? Can my hands are better? He's going to Ireland, stood." Yeah. Mm. I said, what's the matter with him? So he told me, he said, he's been here, been there, been there. He said, he'd never race again. Can't run him 20 yards, he's crippled. So I said, all right. But a month afterwards, I rang Potter. I said, be down at Ockenden, 7 o'clock, Sunday morning. I want to show you something. He said, what, I come in the bottom gate, a junior up the top, let the dog off. Run the track like a rocket, on his own, without the hair. I said, there's Charlie. Charlie was his pet name. I seen him. I said, there's Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. Well, you used to well, see him coming Potter home. I went in, he yeah. said, can I use your phone? He was in the office for about two hours. I think he rung everyone in England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog's back to the... I said, shut your mouth. Uh, we'll do a touch. The first run he had for me Potter. was Bury. There was a big sprint competition on. Yeah. Well, the I sent him Barry. there and a 525 dog there the same night. Mm. I went down and who I bumped into was Derek Law in the car park. What are you doing here? I got. He had a good sprinter then. He says, in the race. So I said, yeah. So I said, he said, what race you, what heat you in? I said, I don't know. I listened to the, the draw, they were giving out the draw. I said, I'm in this one. He said, so am I. I said, well, keep your money in your pocket. What? I said, keep your money in your pocket. No, 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 I don't think so. I said, fire away then. He won. He went back the following week and he done the clock on it. Charlie. Yeah. And the fawn dog done the clock. Well, you know the history of the fawn dog when the police yeah. come to arrest him yeah. and everything. Then I went, his first NGRC open for me was Hall Green. I don't remember now. Oh, Tony Meek, Tony banned, Meek had the best sprinter in England then. Yeah, I was banned at the time. The yeah. blue Brindle. Well, oh, that's why he put had a row me, that's why he yeah. got the dog. Tony because. Meek sprinter, yeah. Yeah. the best sprinter Potter in the country then. And I'll never forget it, walking on parade, Tony Meek said to me, that dog won at Bury. <laughs> I said, what? He said, is that the dog that won a Bury? I said, Bury, where's Bury? <laughs> what are you talking about? He said he'd done the clock at Bury in the final of a sprint stack. I said, no, 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 they're gigging. Your wires cost, Tony. I said, where is Bury? 
And he started laughing. That's John prayed with his dog. He was all done the rest. Yeah. Fucking damn it, off. Yeah. He could sprint. Well, I'll tell you what, before you done that, he, he went with me and he did go to Barry. I don't know how and many... And I had done two clocks with him. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and he no, won. I I'll tell you what he done. I don't know how many races you won. We got the money, John. Listen, we got the money out of, the, out of him, and I had so many fucking tickets, and I went up there in the vet, in the motor, and I said to Potter, "How much are you having on?" He said, "Well, I'll have a fifty. You know, he was like, he was yapping all. He'd get the papers in the morning, he'd tell everybody, he'll have a fifty. Peter Stevens, yeah. I'll have a one. And I said, "Well, I'll make it up to a grand, right? Because you know what I mean." So we're going down. It was a clock. Comes back, gets all the money in the fucking boozer, counting on the table, some yokels come in and say, Whoa, where you get all that money? We just robbed the fucking bank, I said. <laughs> this was where we was drinking. We took him back to Berry, and the bookmakers give us chalk again. There was fair bookmakers at Berry, yeah, and, he, and, he, and, and he, and he yeah. broke the clock and it, called Taboo. That's what they called him. I called him Taboo, yeah, named did, him yeah. T A T U B U. Yeah. But he wasn't racing NGRC then. That wasn't. That was a different sort of the disguised dog. It wasn't really him. Do you know what I mean? If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. White spots. It was a disguised dog. Last race, he, last race he had for me was in Yarmouth, and he won. And I was walking around to the pre presentation and went out over the tannoy. That's Damien Slave's last race. He's off to Ireland next week for start. I went around. And I said to Potter, "What are you, are you some sort of a clown out of a circus?" <laughs> The dog loves his racing. Yeah. He loves his racing. When you yeah. open the kennel door in the morning, he wants to go. John, when he sent you to Ireland, behind a fucking pub for stud breeding to Tony, yeah. Yeah. To Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Texas had him. Yeah. Tony yeah. O'Sullivan. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And yeah. I said to him, what the hell are you doing well. with this dog? Because we, yeah, me, me, and, um, me and Potter had fallen out, but then, because I'd lost my brief, not. and I kept the form bitch called, um, no, you didn't. Anyway, we just won with the form, the palace bitch. I said, take the fucking dogs, because I copped the needle, because... We was going once with a job dog with him and he's sitting in the car with him and the dog got the bun just before the fucking run and he was eating the bun. <laughs> and I said, for fuck's sake, Potter. I said, for fuck's sake. I said, get out of my fucking car. Because you know what he was like. Uh, and, he, uh, Potter, and, Potter. and now, uh, you was know what I mean? Nice well, what an like No, it was, was a like proper <laughs> Danish, big Danish <laughs> boy. Oh, I like them even better. And uh, his dog, oh, right Potter, Potter was a fucking nuisance, John, wasn't he? He was, yeah. he was the biggest before. nuisance before any of on yeah. God's yeah. earth. And, and, and him and Peter Stevens, oh, well, Peter, Peter Stevens was, was, was supposed to be the judge. You know, he, he'd calculate, they'd be like a calculating machine, the pair of them. Yeah, yeah. One of them would buy the papers in the morning, he'd be yeah, up there at fucking King's the Cross at midnight. Yeah. Oh, and he'd walk about. I got, I, I, you know, they drive me fucking mad. Yeah. They drive you nuts. It, would you think this dog, we were in here, and he wanted to withdraw it if he had trap free, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for fuck's yeah. sake. Well, the best, best bitch I had was Porso, obviously. Porso. It's one in a lifetime you're going to get one of those. Talk to me about Porso. Well, uh, I bought a mother out of York, I give two grand for a mother, a bitch called Ryan Krumoff. Uh, I sold her to Dickie Wordsworth. Then Dolly Gwynn trained it, won the Wimbledon Puppy Derby, broke the track record at Wimbledon. Uh, then when she retired, I had a litter of pups out of them, poor Sue was one of them. She was bred in Ireland, uh, Anne Fitzgerald, has all the poor prefixes, and I've been dealing with it for 40, 50 years. And she won 78 races altogether, 70 of them were opens. Yeah, Started off in the A8s, Dan, didn't Started she? Started off in A8. When I remember, to, he was with me at the time. Yeah, when I used to work. And I thought, what have I got here? You don't know this. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it started off I used to walk the miles, didn't I? First miles, of all, we yeah. walked miles. At first seven or eight races, then we took it to yeah. Gary's place. Yeah. So all sudden, one just took off. He's saying he walked a mile. That had more walkers than anybody in the country. Everyone wanted to walk. I walked out uh, three, pa three parks I used to do that. You were only an ankle snapper then. I used to walk past my house, have a sandwich, go round and go round. Have a sandwich, have a sandwich. 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 I never had a nice bun though. You've been sitting in the tree having a fucking smoke. You wouldn't believe it, mate. You get to the track with that, with poor Sue. 
and they'd be out with us and having a rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would she be about the same time as Girl of the Champs then? No. Yeah. Well, just after, just after. Two or three years old. Yeah, just two or three years old. I bought Girl of the Champs for Kim Peckham. Do you know what he gave me? She won both. I bought Girl of the Champs for Kim Peckham, yeah. He gave me, you know what he gave me a drink? He gave me a drink a year afterwards, he gave me five thousand three hundred and sixty pounds. What as a drink? As a drink. Yeah. A year Kim, after. Oh, a year years. after. Yeah. yeah. Well in fairness, it was a useless dog in the beginning, wasn't yeah. it? Cause it yeah, oh, a trip, took it, was took it a champion. Oh great oh. dog. I'll tell you how it come about and go. I used to go yeah, I got, still go to Ireland every fortnight buying dogs. And I was going nearly every week then because, you know, there's a two-day sale at Shelbourne twice a month. There's one at Limerick, one at Cork, always on a Tuesday, and Shelbourne was Tuesday, Wednesday. So Ken used to come around my house now and again when he wanted to go to one. You're going to, going to the sale? I said, yeah. So he come around my house that morning, went off we go to Shelbourne. Well, I was buying dogs that didn't have kennels at the time, and I was keeping them with old Josh Edley. I might buy half a dozen dogs, oh. keeping with Josh Edley and Maggie, Maggie Lucas. Lucas. Maggie yeah. was here at the yeah, time, as a Maggie kennel Maggie girl, Lucas. when she was 16. I sold her her first car for 40 quid, she didn't pay me. An Ilman Inn, a Red Ilman Inn. <laughs> never forget it. A red girlfriend <laughs> a girlfriend <laughs> no, no, a girlfriend never paid either. I'll tell you where she nearly got so, me killed. She nearly got me killed yeah? once. Well, I say nearly got me, I was a bit handy in them days. Yeah. But we had that blonde Ashley in the bitch. And we took it off of John, Ron Jeffries because it had to go on a machine in them long gone back years. But the only one that had a machine then was John Copplestone because he had everything, didn't he? Everything. Anyway, he, I said, John, do me a favour. Yeah, if I can. Could you put this bitch on a machine? I said, she's a bit useful. I said, but he's not going to get the best out of her. Oh, he's, all right, yeah, I'll do it for you. Anyway, he took her. They was moaning, oh, I bet we don't see it back. He's missing. Because they ended up, Jeffries ended up with Keane's kennel. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. That's what you were talking about, Keen. That's what he had the kennels. Anyway, uh, what was I going to Oh, yeah, anyway. He's got her, got her right, John. Give her a trial. And he had the postman walking his dog, doing his dogs. And the old postman used to deliver the mail. And he, <laughs> he used to do dogs in Ireland. So John said, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, John said, I'll have you. Uh, all right, you can work for me. So I see this. Was his name Pat? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, Pat. it was. It was and all. It wasn't. It? So, so he's got the dog, uh, uh, and he goes to Wembley. He gives it a trial. He said she, she didn't have to go well in a trial. I said, oh, did she? Said, so I, I was earning good money then. I takes Tony there. She was only a young girl. I said, come, we're going to watch me dog run it to Wembley. Oh, oh, all right. I said you can go on the Wembley turf. <laughs> she was like that matchstick. So I said, oh, come on. He goes there. Now, this man's convinced me now he's going to find quite a bit off of a troll. So I thought, right. here comes the grand. There was a lot of money then, a grand. I've had a phase with power, which is Jenkins, John. Well, he's up the nose, wasn't he? Anyway, he said, oh, oh, I said, look, I want 10 phasing with phasing. He said, you got it. <laughs> anyway, well, John. And there was a dog in the race who he got, you probably know it, Stan. He got it for good, real big money, like 20 grand, I think it was, a gunman. Yeah, 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 gunman, yeah. Anyway, yeah, gunman. Yeah, That's in the race. Brighton, I don't know where it comes from. No, anyway, no, Gunner, no, Smith. Gunner, Smith. Gunner Smith. But anyway, gunman was this. I think they give twenty grand for the mm. dog. We're in with it. So now I'm on. Anyway, I don't care. Me money's on. But she gets out. She's gone round twenty nine oh two, nearly the clock. Yeah. Just under twenty nine the clock. Where's that Wembley? Tw twenty nine oh two. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah. Right. Yeah, anyway, yeah. twenty nine oh two, and he's only just getting into her. Yeah. He ain't opened her up yet, yeah, John. Yeah, so yeah, he's. Yeah. A, Oh, he said, that's, that's some bitch. You got the thing in a video of again. I draws me on money. I'm sticking it everywhere, this money, because there's a lot of dough then. We're at the bar upstairs and we're having a laugh because you used to go upstairs and you're. She mm. saying, uh, when it's come eight, but if gunman had got a run, he'd have picked us up because he did get held up. Yeah, yeah. Time. Well, we'll have, it. we'll have two grand match race. I said, what? No. She said, I said, fuck yes. <laughs> I said, to four, I said, shut up. But and the man said, put, yeah. oh, yeah. frightened to, to put your money up. Kid, but, well, yeah. she, yeah. she wouldn't hold on with that because it's it getting free. It's, yeah. it's coming to some made 10 limbs up. I didn't want a two dog of that. Yeah. Yeah. Morris, you were saying to me about the dogs. The fastest bitch that I ever had, the fastest one, was a crackpot. And you know the crackpot. Oh, you told me, show me there. Junior Miss. Junior Miss. She oh, was, yeah. now she could catch pigeons. Now you talk about Wembley, I swear to God, Lone Wolf, Curtis had just won the ledger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just won it, we're in with Lone Wolf. And it, we had 33 to one down to eights. And that's a bet. And they took it all along, Johnny yeah. Jenkins, took 33 to one. She got, Lone Wolf led, yeah. she had a talk with Lone Wolf, oh, said hello, yeah. how you doing, and still <laughs> yeah. won. Yeah. 
Yeah. Then she. Uh, so what's that? Well, first bow she got a car. It's a Walthamstow in the Canada Dry a Marathon. She won it, but she give Holloway's Magic Lindsay's dog a straight start, caught it, had a nut, and done it on the line, and, st and they took the, the race away from me. So she got this. Oh, well, they, they, they did. They took it away. I never got it. Oh. I got them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, anyway, they, 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 they took it away anyway. So we never got it. Out. Well, this bitch, we, we never got paid out. So what we did, we took a flat in. We had to because you know. Well, anyway, anyway, we goes to um, Huntingdon, and faintly had a good bitch them days called Lissy Lissy, Lissy, Lissy Kirik Lady, a black bitch. Yeah, anyway, stale, a little bit, little bit fair bitch. Anyway, she was in the red, and I thought, well. I don't know. I put her on. We had the dough on. Anyway, I'm looking. For, I'm over the fence, a metal, a metal fence, having a look over the back with a pair of binoculars, right? And I see it, and I see the fucking thing, and I thought, well, that's a long way in front. It was a straight. It was her. She'd got on the air. Well, she done. I don't know what how much yeah, she took yeah, off. How go much off. she? Yeah. <laughs> how much? Yeah. And how much she took off the clock? I honestly don't know. But she never had a look that day. But then you know, it went half an hour. We won a turkey. It was a. You give a turkey for Christmas Eve with a turkey and that, and 100 quid. Did you eat it? Yeah, no, the old one did. <laughs> we, 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 we went to Berry. We went to Berry with her, and Morris was at Berry. And then mm. I said to Morris, well, I put the brindle dog in. I said, Morris, I don't know where, what colour it is, didn't I? Because you couldn't tell anybody in case he, any of his mob would have a score and then it start the market yeah, rolling. Yeah. And um, anyway, she, she had a little look there, she, but she won, and um, we bred from her. And she threw, she threw uh, a lovely cut. Uh, last year's man, he won the the Lincoln and uh, the Dar uh, uh, oh, what's that national that. Um, Scottish Grand National. She I'm bred sure him, that. and she bred a dog called the Partisan. I named him, uh, and anyway, he was looked like the other one, but he wouldn't kennel, he wouldn't crack us. Took him to the house, and I took him for a trial, and I put him in with Atlantic Way, and he beat Atlantic Way six lengths in a sprint. And I thought, fucking hell. Oh yeah, something else. And I thought, but I can't I couldn't run him. So we took him flapping. Oh, fucking hell. But then we sold him to the flapping boys because you yeah, couldn't take him, yeah. you know. Once he you exposed, he was like a 36 brindle, dark brindle, yeah. good looking hound, and everybody was they write in their books, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, what yeah, colour yeah, you yeah, was yeah, and yeah. They, they, all these flapping boys are right. That's his, his dog. That's his dog. Yeah. No matter whether you put Fuller's Earth on a my old woman's hairdresser, we used to put dye on them, like you know, like on the white bits, and because it was semi permanent, cause yeah, she knew how to do it, again, yeah. and all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, she knew how to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want some of yours. I want some of that. Listen, listen. I was. Oh, stop! Stop fucking whinging now. Stop whinging. It was her model in the beginning.
just saw a wonderful performance, Eddie, by Yes Speed in the Curry's best bit of select stakes and some compensation for his defeat in the Irish Derby. Well, I, I just wish he'd come out in Dublin um, a couple of weeks ago like he did tonight. I, I think he would have won the Irish Derby. But as you know, you were there and, and uh, he didn't come out as well as he came out tonight. No, he absolutely flew out, but uh, what a marvellous time. 28.84, just two spots outside the track record. Fabulous, fabulous. I was saying to Ginger in Dublin, like or Ginger McGee, that I felt the dog should have been, the seeding should never have been taken off and we should have been seated wide. He comes out better from the outside, but you know, I feel a bit silly about that tonight. The trainers normally have it right, Eddie, don't they? Much I as know, us owners I like know. to think we... Well, uh, you know must respect it. Ginger, like he's a very successful trainer. You know. Any plans for the dog in future? How much racing he's got left in him? Well, I, I, you know, I don't know what's on now, because you know, uh, Mike, um, I usually concentrate on the English and the Irish Derby. Um, I believe the, the, there's a big race coming up on Walthamstow, and, and I'm sure we'll run him there. He, a he won a race, I think, or he did win a race earlier on, probably three months ago there, and um, he ran very well. And I'm sure we'll go back there again for that. For, of course, for, that was the circuit final we won at Warms, right. followed up the St Mungo Cup, and, and a great performance in the Irish Derby. But I think you're going to have to go a very long way, Eddie, before you top tonight's performance. Congratulations. Oh, I think so. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs>